Okay, to, I'm very sorry I'm hope, late. <laughs> hopefully Maggie's got in and enough time to catch your breath there. It's straight 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 into things there for, yeah. for the final section. Yeah. Um, so this, this section is just to try and bring this together and give you a sense of the things that we're doing this year, so this year that we're in now, because in a way the look back is really important and it's really important to celebrate uh, the things that we're doing well. Um, but this is a, an attempt to share with you some of the things we're doing uh, this year. And, and just on this, the money that David was just talking about, um, I mean generally you can see and I think people know, the things we do out of hospital are less expensive than the things we do in hospital. I mean, it, you know, it's kind of obvious. Um, so really, generally speaking, we want the people who need to go to hospital to get there and get there quickly and get what they need in a, in a really <coughs> good way. But we, we do want, over a period of time, more things to be done out of hospital so that we, we obviously, if you've broken your leg or, you know, David cycling accident he was talking about, you obviously need to go. But for a lot of people, we can do more for people out of hospital, we can get people out of hospital quicker, we can stop them going to hospital. And so that means really changing the whole way health services are organised. Um, and we're on a journey of doing that, and we need to accelerate that journey, and we need to change probably that pie chart, the balance of where we spend our money. So over a period of time, we need to put more investment in community services, in primary care, in mental health, because we know that in prevention, we know that will really help us, and it will take a period of time. So that's the sort of journey we're on, um, because you know, hospitals are a great place when you need it, but when you don't, it, it can actually really be an unhelpful uh, place to be. So that's the journey we're on. So if we just run through some slides and then uh, we can talk about it. Um, that's fine. I'll, we'll, we'll put that back. That's fine. Um, so so these, are the, these are the things we're trying to do. Um, we're trying to do a lot of work on prevention. So really trying to stop problems ever happening in the first place. Um, and there, you know, the smoking campaigns and all those sorts of things that people all know about that are a really effective way of um, stopping people ever needing the expensive end of our services. Um, th th this, this, uh, I mean, it sounds all very jargon, but these things about integrated care, we know that um, we need to get better between health and health and social care working together. So very often, if you are in uh, receipt of services, you can have lots of different people all dealing with different aspects of your care. And we know that it works much better if those people uh, work together more closely, um, sit in the same offices, share the same records, and be able to coordinate what we do for people much better. So really moving on new models of care, that, that's really what all this is about, making it much, much easier. Um, and there are a range of things we're doing on mental health and encouraging um, the acute uh, organisations to work together more. And again, that's just because uh, sometimes scale is really important, particularly for some of our acute services. Um, and this links into some of the big conversation questions that we've asked uh, you. Uh, sometimes it is better to travel a bit further to get the really expensive uh, specialist stuff. Um, but o only for those things where it is better um, doubling small numbers in, in a big place. So uh, those are our priorities for this year. Um, so prevention, um, as I say, lot, lots there and recognising that everybody who has contact with somebody in our community has an opportunity to help with lifestyle choices and with some of the early problems that people have so that we really make the difference and that, that when somebody in our community goes to any health place and has a, a contact, that it's really helpful and it does more than that they were there to do. So, so that sort of sounds really small, but that is about people getting focused on the people in front of them and using every minute, really, that we've got uh, of, of time. So uh, we'll be doing that. And um, this is the, we're calling it new models of care, but this is all about getting um, people uh, more healthy in the first place, making sure that when things start to go wrong, we intervene really early in a way that keeps people's independence for much longer, and that we start to change the way GP services are run and community services, and we bring all those together in, in, in either physical or, or um, virtual hubs. 
So those professionals work together so that they can coordinate services that we've got in a much, much better way and prevent people having to go in and out of different services. So this really is the, uh, the model that we're, we're uh, promoting. And, and we want to do it because it's the right thing, um, but also the, the model that we've currently got is beginning to creep. So the model of primary care, um, we're finding it is becoming difficult to recruit GPs, um, we're finding it very difficult. Um, so by doing this new model, what will happen is if you've got a very urgent problem, you will get seen much quicker and you'll get seen quickly. Whereas if you're somebody who's got a really complex problem and you really do need to see your own GP who knows you, knows your family, and knows your circumstances, um, then they'll be able to see you, but they'll be able to see you in a bit more time. So, so it really means changing the way that primary care works and our GPs work. And what's really exciting is where we're starting to do this, it, it works. And people and patients are saying it's better. And a lot of our uh, GPs are saying, actually, this is a much better way to work. It's a lot less stressful because we're actually dealing with people in a much more appropriate way and not having people past the pillar to post. So uh, in some of the patch, some of this work is going well. Um, and, and we also know from learning uh, uh, in the rest of the country, in the rest of Hampshire, that it, it really is working um, and it's making a, a change. Who's shutting down? Is that me or you? Or? <laughs> <laughs> it's having malfunction. resource which we have to spend well and we are under considerable financial pressure as, as you know and we really think the way to solve our financial problems is to do this new approach so our, our thinking on delivering financial balance isn't perhaps a more old-fashioned approach about what can we stop and cut and you know which just doesn't really ever help we're trying to do do the right thing, which we then think saves money. And an example of that would be, if we can reduce the demand on Portsmouth Hospitals Trust um, by people getting seen in the community in a more effective, timely way, then actually Portsmouth Hospitals Trust don't get all the people who don't need to be there, who they then have to employ agency staff to cover and all that. So, so very often, um, a better financial balance is actually giving a much better quality of care. And I, I, it doesn't work that saving money is going to give bad results. It's actually the opposite. And that's why we really believe that the new approach and the new models of care will really make a difference. So that's our approach to how we spend, how we spend the money. And, and as I say, the challenge comes is when we look next year and the year after at that pie chart that David put up, we do need to start seeing some shifts in where we spend our money. And the final thing we're just going to say, um, as, a, as a CCG and as a commissioning organisation, uh, we do all of this with lots of other people. Um, so we work very closely in the Portsmouth and South East system with our friends at Portsmouth CCG, with all the providers. We work very closely with the local authorities, with the voluntary sector. And, and that's our job, really, to, uh, to work with all the people, some of whom have got a different uh, lens on the world than us, some of whom have got a different skill set, that we all come together and help to spend the resource we've got back to the pie chart in a really efficient way uh, and making it every year uh, better and improving the quality. And, and that is not to underestimate the real challenges, um, and we know some of the challenges to be in the hospitals just at the moment are significant. Um, but we are absolutely committed to making that a lot better and playing our part in that. But by doing it, but by, by putting in a new model of care, particularly out of the hospital, so that, so that we work together much better as a system.
So be behind that, we've got really detailed plans for each of the patches, lots of detail schemes, and, and you may know about some of that, and, and we certainly can in on some of the detail either now or at another opportunity. But that's the kind of shape of what we're trying to do.